Hey guys, it's Coog Digging with another video. And, uh, well, um, I mean, just another chore, right? So, yeah. Things have been happening. I've been looking into a lot of stuff. Been traveling, really. Honestly, for work. Uh, that was the reason I had a gap in between when I was doing stuff. So, uh, yeah, if you were wondering, uh, that's the reason. I was traveling for doing some courses. Um, I mean, this is the profession line I've chosen requires me to have like a gazillion courses. Uh, every time I'm on vacation or I'm on leave, I need to uh, do my competency courses. It's like 2,000 rupees for one day. There are other courses which are like 10,000 rupees per day. I have gone for that course, so yeah pretty expensive anyways uh, enough of that I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, gaming um, <laughs> if you guys don't know this I do game a lot like any other person would uh, it's like the favorite part time for a pastime for millennials right anyways um, gaming is a thing uh, I like gaming a lot I do game when I'm free, if I have nothing to do at home, like I'm entirely free, I don't have anything important. I'll play my game for about 20 hours a day and get four hours a day, four hours of sleep. That's basically how I do it. Uh, I'm not very healthy. I understand that. I have even skipped lunches to finish a quest in an RPG game. So, yeah, I, I've talked about this before. Witcher three. The Wild Hunt is perpetually one of my favorite games yet. Previously, I played a lot of um, SNES games. Before this, uh, Metroid was amazing. I loved Metroid, playing Metroid. Um, before this, I guess it was Half-Life again. Great game. Another game which I really really like is uh, Bioshock Infinity. Bioshock, the, the rest of Bioshock was okay, it was good, it had a lot of mechanisms in it and uh, it was really great. The game mechanics were pretty amazing in that. But Infinity had a story which actually gripped me. It was an amazing story which ties into the previous Bioshock games and that was amazing. I love that. It's amazing. Um, so that's what I want to talk about. Games with story. There are a lot of people who believe that story is just superfluous to a game, which uh, I don't agree with. Games, I mean, yes, a game with just the story ceases to be a game, right? It just is a movie, it's an interactive movie. There are a lot of games like that. Uh, I guess a lot of PS4 games, like Last of Us. Last of Us is more or less a interactive movie. Call of Duty is, of course, it's an interactive movie. I I liked Call of Duty until like Modern Warfare 2. After that, I mean, I don't know, man. Black Ops, I played Black Ops and I, after like two missions, I, I stopped. The place where I worked, they have a PS3 or PS4, I, I don't remember what, what it was. Um, they had Advanced Warfare there. I only played it just because the other people were playing it. I didn't like the game and only multiplayer. I only played multiplayer with it. That's just how it is. Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed is a great game. I like that. Um, in the meantime, uh, Rogue or, uh, or Unity. I, Assassin's Creed Unity got a lot of flack because of the bugs. But it has a great story. I think it has a great story. I recently played it once and uh, I liked it pretty well. Assassin's Creed Unity had a good story. Um, it actually ties on with the Assassin's vs. Templar stuff. And uh, that's another thing. Like, the story, the sequels over sequels, they may not amount to anything in the end. Uh, that's what I feel about Assassin's Creed. Um, after Assassin's Creed 3, the continuity just went haywire. It's, not, it's now not about um, Assassins uh, having the upper hand or uh, saving the Earth. It's just mainly about having power and it's like a child's fight. Like you did it, I did it, I want it, you want it. That's, that's the sort of thing I want this thing. Back to the topic, tangent. Anyways, I want to talk about the story. Games, having a story is always better. Would you agree with that? 
a game with a story is always better. Yes, I mean there are games without stories which uh, you can play for hours and hours and uh, not have any problem with it. Like RPG games, Minecraft is a certain example, but that's more of a creative game. You create the story in that, that's what I feel. I've never played Minecraft because I feel that's not for me, um, that's pretty much it. But yeah, this is this is what I, uh, what I, I had thought about. I recently came across a game called Undertale. And man, the story is amazing. I love, and it's not just the story. The story is great and all, I like that. Uh, but the mechanics actually uh, ties in with the story. And I am, I really fell in love with that concept. Um, if you don't know, Undertale is a game. It's an indie game. But um, it's a very, very amazing experience just playing that game. Um, I recently just finished the game and uh, ah, man it was amazing it's the experience of finishing that thing it's more of a bullet hell game and um, it has a great story and all that it has the ex the interactions actually matters like in Witcher 3 um, the Witcher 3 I like Witcher 3 because every action has a consequence and I know a lot of games says that like Assassin's Creed Odyssey um, that's very much modeled after Witcher 3. It says that everything has a consequence, but not really. Like, a few of the things have consequences. Witcher 3, every quest has alternative endings, and it's fun to have the uh, extra playtime sink into it. Undertale is very different because you need to do a uh, uh, at least two runs to complete the entire series or complete the story. That's what I understood from it. If you don't know, there is a um, neutral ending or a neutral path. It's more about path, not just the ending. You have a neutral path and you have a pacifist, true pacifist path. And there is a genocide path. I personally have not gone through the genocide path because, I mean, the first thing is you can't kill Toriel, okay? I mean, why would you kill Toriel? That's what I, 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 that was the first thing which came into my mind. In genocide, you have to kill every monster. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a spoiler, but yeah, anyways, that's one thing. It's an amazing game. I loved the game. I've had the ringtone Megalovania. That's uh, the Sans battle song. Uh, that's another thing. That's, that music is my ringtone. I love that thing. Yeah, there's a lot in that game. It's very, very, what should I say? I mean, it's hard to feel that it's an indie game. It has an indie feel to it. It is uh, it's a basic game with a lot of effort put into it, and I really like that. It's it's an amazing thing. So yeah, games are always better with the story. There can be games with a shit of story with like no story at all, which are also good. But it would have been much better with the story. So yeah, there are things like that. I I am I'm of that fact. So yeah, just wanted to talk about games. Do let me know if you are watching this, which I seriously doubt it. If you are watching this, do let me know what is your favorite game. Because a lot of people have their own favorites. Mine, I've already told you guys, I like Witcher 3. That's still perpetually one of my favorite, most favorite games. I still love that thing. There are other games which I like a lot. Uh, but still, Witcher 3 is the game I would recommend to anyone because it's beautiful it has a well-crafted gameplay system and it has a beautiful story I was in tears okay I was in tears when I met Siri for the first time like Witcher Geralt met Siri for the first time so yeah see you guys later